Here's how the media received it. Washington Post, Sound of Freedom is a box office hit whose star embraces QAnon. Rolling Stone, Sound of Freedom is a superhero movie for dads with brain worms. The Guardian, Sound of Freedom, the QAnon-adjacent thriller seducing America. Elizabeth Pran is here, News Nation contributor. It's almost like a parallel to the cocaine story we talked about last, last block, is that when people get really angry, they're threatened by something. I just can't figure out what it is. I can't figure out how you can make child trafficking controversial, as you said. This is hypocrisy at its finest. This is selective outrage. We're talking about these publications who, by the way, they're trying to link, as you mentioned, the main character and who the main character is supposed to be portraying Tim Ballard as relation to this conspiracy theory with QAnon. But keep in mind that two of these publications, both The Rolling Stone um, as well as The Guardian, were praising just a couple years ago, and I know you have way too much time on your hands, to watch the movie Cuties. If you don't know about the movie Cuties, it is the actual exploitation of little 11-year-old girls who are wearing what appears to be dental floss and twerking. And the only reason I know that is because I have an 8-year-old girl, and I was one of the hundreds of thousands of people who signed the Change.org petition to take this movie off of Netflix. But both Rolling Stone and The Guardian praise this. So my question to you and our viewers would be, if you're going to support a movie where you watch a 11-year-old girls twerk and as I mentioned, what appears to be clothing, but when there is some type of a religious-based thriller that is portraying a true life event, you're then selectively outraged. I just can't square the circle on this one, Leland. Well, it's, it's more than selective outrage, right? It, it's like this, this larger idea that if something is attached to something that a group of people don't like, then they must attack it, even if it is as pure as rescuing kids from, from sex trafficking. It's, all, it's also fascinating, the pivot. Eight years ago, uh, 60 Minutes did a huge piece about Tim Ballard, uh, one of the premier journalistic organizations in the world, and lionized him for, for what he had done. And now, all of a sudden, he's being drugged through the mud because uh, people, people just can't deal with, with the idea that this really happens, and there's good people who go out and, and rescue him. Uh, Elizabeth, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.